Hi, I'm Amber Terry, the director here at First Steps. Today we're going to have the opportunity to tour our center. As we walk ahead, we're going to see our mural on the wall. Our main focus here at First Steps is sharing Christ with our children and our families. That being said, we are not a state licensed facility, but we operate um, as if we are. We are overseen by our school's Board of Ed, and we also have a child care committee here at, at First Steps. We're gonna start in our nursery room. This room is for children um, six weeks, about nine months. Each child is given their own space to put supplies. We do ask that parents supply diapers, wipes, extra clothes, seasonal clothes for outside time. We do have the opportunity to use um, strollers that I'll point out to you later to be able to walk around our, our property. Bottles are supplied by the parents, prepared, ready to serve. So if it's formula or breast milk, they're in bottles that are labeled with their, their first names on the bottle portion and on the cap. And then they're brought in daily and put in our refrigerators. Each child has their own tray that we're able to put the bottles in and um, to be able to track and make sure that we're giving the appropriate bottle to each child. When parents drop off, they let us know when the child woke up, um, when they were last fed, and then when they were diapered, which allows us to track um, their needs during the day. We transfer that information to our board where we're able to see that from any part of our classroom, so we're able to meet their needs as best as possible. On the other side of this half wall are our cribs. This is um, just a nice separation to separate from the rest of the room. Each child has their own crib. We do use a sound machine to kind of tune out the other sounds in the room as well. Uh, we ask families to provide a sleep sack or a swaddle. We do not put any blankets or toys in the crib. As we walk through, we have the diaper changing areas. This is what connects our nursery to our infant room. As we walk through, the, we're gonna transition um, into our infant room, which is where our more mobile babies are. They may be sitting up, they may be starting to crawl. By the end of this room, they're starting to walk. Um, this room and our nursery room is a four to one ratio, so that's four children to one teacher, or um, eight to two. Both these rooms use cross connections. Um, it is a nicely laid out Bible lesson that gives the lesson, it lists a prayer, and it gives a song. So just an easy way to bring in that Word of God to them at their level. We do have a four seat and a six seater stroller that provides um, us the opportunity to take our children out for walks around our facility. The teachers love this opportunity to get them outside to nature, um, different opportunity to sing songs as they walk, point out things um, on our property, as well as just get some real good fresh air. Now we're gonna enter our toddler room. This room is for children about 15 months to two. The ratio is still one to four or two to eight. Um, the requirements for this room is that the child is walking and ready for one nap. They do transition out of that crib that we have in the nursery in the infant room onto mats provided by our center. Um, and then we ask that parents provide a sleeping bag. Children transition out of high chairs to a small table in this room. So this is where they eat their snacks, and their lunch. They are encouraged to self-feed in here, um, still using sippy cups, but are able to use a tray and a fork and a spoon. The teachers do sit with them and eat lunch and just encourage the interaction through, throughout meal times. Um, this is the area that often the teacher will do the Bible lesson. As one teacher is preparing the lunch, the other teacher is sitting on the floor and using that cross connections that I showed you in our infant room and um, reading through the story, um, encouraging them to do the prayer. Each classroom has a bulletin board that lays out the lesson plan. So even back thinking to our nursery and our infant room, each of those classrooms has a, a weekly lesson plan. Um, they list the activities, have it be small group, large group, 
Bible time, uh, music and, bo and movements, um, but it's listed there for the parents to see what the teachers are doing with their children to really encourage that to continue on at home as well. As we walk through the cubby area, this is a shared cubby area for our toddler room and for our two-year-old room, which is what we're entering into now. Our two-year-old room is a six to one ratio or a 12 to two ratio. And here the children are encouraged that much more to be independent. They also use cross connections for Bible lessons in here, but they're also introducing Christ Light to just expand on that Bible a little bit more as they are getting older. Our two-year-old room is also the start for many for potty training. We are able um, to use this great bathroom, which has three stalls with the child-sized toilets where um, children can really be independent because they can reach everything. So um, we have that to encourage them and then to come across and wash their hands at the sinks. Another transition that our two-year-old room does is they transition from the smaller playground in the front of our building to one of our larger playgrounds in the back. That has a little bit more space for them to run around. Now we're gonna enter into our young three-year-old room. This room is for children about two and a half to three and a half. We're still um, working on potty training with most of our children, but some do come into this room already potty trained. The room is larger. We, this is an eight to one or a 16 to two ratio. Children are encouraged even more independence in this room. They're encouraged to follow a schedule on the wall. So they're able to look at it and if they know that they have just finished their Bible lesson, they can look to the next picture and know that they're moving to small groups at the table. Um, during our small group activities, they're able to work on math or science activities, maybe literacy. We use high school curriculum here at First Steps. We use it from the nursery room all the way through to our pre-K. It's really child-based curriculum um, based on what their interests are and then also what their development is. As we head into our pre-K room, we walk through our cubby area. This is shared with our young three and our pre-K. Um, this is where they keep their coats, their backpacks, and then their sleeping bags. Now this is our pre-K classroom. It is um, for ages three and a half and up. Um, this room, some families have their children come here five days a week and are just here in our classroom and other families use it as wraparound care. Um, if they're over at Meadowview at the 4K program there, or maybe here at St. Matthew's in our 3K or 4K. We're able to accommodate those schedules either before 3K and 4K and or after those programs are finished. In our pre-K, the children are learning to be leaders. They're um, given opportunities to have jobs each day, either calendar captain, station inspector, line leader. They really feel important to have this opportunity to have these jobs. We are blessed here at First Steps with teachers and staff that have a wide range of experience and educational background. We have teachers that have degrees in elementary education, in special ed, backgrounds in business, um, and then many teachers that have the required courses but years of experience, which is really neat to see the teachers interact together, some that have are maybe 20 year veterans and some that are just graduated and just see what they can um, accomplish when they put all their talents together. Now we're entering our flex room, which is used for um, many different purposes. It is our tornado shelter that we use for our whole center. This room is also used for gym time during the day. Each classroom is given a half an hour time where they can come in here and just really encourage that large motor activity, which is so important for them to have throughout the day. Thanks for watching today. If you have any more questions about First Steps, please call the center directly. I'd be happy to answer additional questions and to guide you through the registration process. We're hoping First Steps is just the right place for you and your family.